Hello and welcome. This official pCounter video covers installation and configuration of Balance.exe as a CGI web application. The purpose of Balance.exe as a CGI web application is to allow users to check their balance via a self-service web page they can access at any time. Let's get started. On your pCounter server, open the Server Manager snap-in. Choose Add Roles. Choose Next. Check the box for Web Server IIS and choose Next. Next again. Make sure to select the following components. CGI. Basic Authentication, Windows Authentication. The IIS Management Scripts and Tools, the Management Service. All the IIS 6 compatibility packages and choose next. Click install. This should not require a reboot. Once the installation is complete, close the wizard and you can go ahead and close the server manager snap-in. Now open a command prompt. Change directory to the pcounter installation directory and the nt subdirectory. Run the command balance.exe slash iiscfg. If you get this message, you need to run the command prompt as administrator, then do the same thing. If all steps were done correctly, particularly using the Run as Administrator option to launch the command window, the balance.exe IIS script window will launch. Use the virtual directory name field to change the URL the user will use to access the page. I usually change this to just balance. I recommend using only basic authentication and leaving the SSL option disabled. Click the install button to launch the IIS script. Once the script is complete, go back to the window and click the hyperlink at the top to launch the Balance.exe web page. You will immediately be prompted for login credentials upon accessing the web page. This is the same prompt users will see when accessing the web page to check their balance. Before logging in, open pCounter Administrator. Find a user whose password and username you know and set a balance for them. Back at the login prompt, enter the username and password for the user whose balance you've just modified in pAdmin. By default, you must specify the domain of the user as well as the username. You should see the user's balance. To set a default domain for the web page, thus bypassing the need for the user to type the domain name when logging in, launch the IIS Management Console. Expand the default website, find the balance CXE, go into authentication settings, right click basic authentication and choose edit, and to find a default domain. Use FQDN. Once defined, close the web page to end the session, go back to the script window, click on the hyperlink again. This time when logging in you should be able to enter just the simple username and password without defining the domain. At this point, Balance.exe is now accessible to any user on the domain so long as they can access the IP address of the server. They can also conversely use the domain name of the server. Documentation 2K8 and it takes them to the same page. 
You can also make a DNS redirection to facilitate easier browsing to the site. This concludes the Balance at EXE web application training video. For questions, please email support at pcanner.com. Thanks and have a good day.